This video contains some very minor spoilers for Episode 8 of Transformers Earth Spark. And while you're here, don't forget, this year December is Obscure Characters Month, weekly quickfire episodes about lesser known and cult favourite bots. It's been a while since our last trip back to 1984, so this week we're looking at another of the original Transformers toy line's founding characters, Soundwave's favourite cassette, Laserbeak. The original Laserbeak toy was first released in the Japanese toy line Microchange in 1983. The figure transformed from a microcassette tape to a robotic condor, and was imported by Hasbro to become part of the first year of the Transformers toy line in 1984. Hasbro released the toy in two different colours, in red as Laserbeak and in gold as Buzzsaw. The pair were designed to fit inside Decepticon cassette player Soundwave. Buzzsaw came packaged with Soundwave, while Laserbeak was sold in a two-pack with fellow cassette Frenzy. Marvel Comics writer Bob Budiansky wrote a profile for Laserbeak that characterised him as the Decepticon's sadistic interrogator, who enjoyed using his lasers to torture victims into giving up information before killing them. In battle, though, he was a total coward, who would turn tail the second it looked like things were going against him. Now, Laserbeak was handled in two very different ways by the Transformers cartoon and the Marvel comic book. The cartoon treated him the same way it did all the animal form cassette Transformers like him, less like a sapient being and more like an actual animal who couldn't speak and was subservient to Soundwave, serving as his minion and enforcer. Instead of an interrogator, the cartoon gave Laserbeak the job that Budiansky had intended for Buzzsaw, who didn't appear in the show very much, making him a spy, often sent by Soundwave to secretly observe the Autobots. This decision would influence many future depictions of Laserbeak, and led to perhaps his most memorable moment in the series, when he overcame his cowardice to sneak into Autobot headquarters and inflict nearly fatal damage to Optimus Prime. In the Marvel comic, on the other hand, early issues showed Laserbeak to be a fully sapient Decepticon capable of speech, but this was dropped as the series went on, bringing the comic version of the character more in line with the cartoon. Laserbeak's toy was discontinued in 1986, but he continued to appear in media for some time. He had a brief but memorable role in The Transformers The Movie, spying on the Autobots' moon base in the film's opening scenes, and made a few further appearances in the cartoon's third season and its 1987 Japanese original sequel series, The Headmasters. And in the comic, while most of the other 1984 Decepticons were destroyed by Omega Supreme, Laserbeak survived and continued to serve under various Decepticon commanders until eventually being retired from the comic a few years later, one of many victims taken offline by a cosmically empowered Starscream. No further toys of Laserbeak were released in the original series, and the character's name wouldn't be heard again until 1997, when a new Laserbeak was released in the Beast Wars toy line. Like many Beast Era characters, this Laserbeak, a recolor of the Predacon Terrorsaur who transformed from robot to pterodactyl, was a separate individual who merely shared the name of the original, and even spelled it differently as L-A-Z-O-R Beak. A Predacon pirate who hungered for battle, unlike the cowardly original, he didn't appear in the Beast Wars cartoon, but he would show up in a few stories later published in the 21st century, including IDW Publishing's Beast Wars comic books. In the Japanese market, meanwhile, the toy was released as a different character, the Predacon jokester Hydra, who was featured in the Beast Wars Neo anime. Laserbeak's name returned to its original spelling for 2002's Transformers Armada. This series featured an Autobot version of the character, a life-size roleplay toy that triple-changed from bird to video camera to blaster. 
As seen in the Armada cartoon, this laser beak was a spy drone given to the Autobots' human allies, who helped and protected them in the field, and allowed them to aid the Autobots by conducting battlefield surveys and reconnaissance for them. Following these deviations from the classic formula, Laserbeak was returned to his roots by 2005's Transformers Cybertron, in which he once again appeared as the faithful minion of Soundwave. And that's how he's been consistently depicted ever since. Today, he's usurped Buzzsaw to become Soundwave's standard pack-in partner, with new versions of him regularly coming included with new Soundwave toys and appearing alongside him all across Transformers media. However, the dated nature of his original alternate mode has led to multiple attempts to update Laserbeak with new forms more suited to the modern era, beginning with Cybertron, in which Soundwave transformed into a stealth bomber and Laserbeak became a bomb the vehicle could deploy. In 2008, Transformers Animated played up Soundwave's connection to sound and music to reinvent Laserbeak as an electric guitar that delivered powerful sonic attacks. In the animated cartoon, he aided his master in his attempt to brainwash the Autobots, until Optimus Prime got a hold of Laserbeak and used him to beat Soundwave into submission. Modern depictions of Laserbeak usually follow the original cartoon's lead and make him a mute animal, but sapient talkative versions of the character do occasionally appear, such as in IDW Publishing's comic books, in which he and Buzzsaw liked to perch on the sidelines and deliver mocking commentary on everything going on around them. Another Laserbeak with the ability to talk was the version featured in the 2011 live-action movie Dark of the Moon. This Laserbeak had the power to transform into anything he wanted, a talent he used in his role as Soundwave's personal assassin, adopting different shapes to get close to and eliminate his targets. Accordingly, toys of this Laserbeak released in the various movie toy lines have given him a variety of forms, including a VTOL aircraft, a blaster for Soundwave, and strangest of all, a pink version of the Autobot Bumblebee. But the most prolific modern incarnation of Laserbeak was the version featured in the Aligned continuity. Between 2010 and 2020, he appeared in almost every major entry in this shared universe of toys, cartoons, games, and more, taking different forms in each one. First, he appeared in the War for Cybertron video game and its various sequels and spin-offs, with a tie-in toy released in the Transformers Generations line giving him the alternate mode of a Cybertronian data disc. Then he was featured in Transformers Prime, in which he simply converted into a chest plate for Soundwave. As seen in the Prime cartoon, he served as a second set of eyes and ears for his stealthy master, a link the Autobots once exploited when they captured Laserbeak and used him to transmit a virus through Soundwave into the Decepticons' computer system. At the conclusion of Prime, Laserbeak and Soundwave were trapped in the alternate dimension known as the Shadow Zone, but they escaped in the 2015 sequel series Robots in Disguise and adopted new alt modes, with Laserbeak now converting into a turret for Soundwave's vehicle mode. Laserbeak wound up being defeated in battle by Optimus Prime and was finally taken into custody. He would go on to serve his time, and when he next appeared in Rescue Bots Academy in 2020, it was as a free bot living a civilian life in the post-war era and sporting his classic cassette alternate mode. When the young Autobot students of the Rescue Bots Academy found Laserbeak wounded on an abandoned spaceship, his Decepticon history made them reluctant to help him, until their ex-Decepticon classmate, Wedge, convinced them to look beyond Laserbeak's past. Allowed to stay at the Academy while he recovered, Laserbeak helped the students save the damaged giant Autobot Citadel Secundus and decided to formally change allegiance, becoming an Autobot and joining the Academy as its newest student. 
RescueBots Academy is an example of how, in the last few years, new series have returned to depicting Laserbeak as transforming into either a cassette, or at least some kind of ambiguous rectangle that fits inside Soundwave's chest in the classic style. Other examples include 2018's Transformers Cyberverse, which briefly told the story of how Soundwave tamed the wild Laserbeak and made him his. 2019's War for Cybertron trilogy, which described Laserbeak's alt mode as an armoured shield. And most recently, this year's Transformers Earthspark, which even had the Autobot's human friends comment on his weirdly outdated form. But whatever shape he takes, wherever Soundwave appears in the Transformers universe, you can be sure that Laserbeak won't be far behind. And those are the basics on Laserbeak. Tell me about your favourite version of this tinfoil turkey in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss next episode as we kick off Obscure Characters Month.